Fellow Nigerians, I am Frederick Omoy Madurga from the Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria, GCSDN. We have observed events in our country, Nigeria, and the time has come for us to take action in line with revolution without ammunition. In recent times, some people wanted self-determination. They were arrested, they were killed, and they were detained. Others wanted revolution. They were arrested, they were detained. The Shiite Muslims wanted freedom. They were arrested and they were killed. Therefore, the time has come for us to formulate new strategies that will bring the desired freedom, justice, and the government of the people. Therefore, we have come out with a formula called 23 on to 23. I would like to explain that to you in a jiffy. Now, the elections will be coming up in 2023. Enough of political vampires, enough of political ancestors that have refused to die. This is the time for us to build a citizen-owned government. We did not escort anybody to Nigeria. Nobody owns Nigeria more than Nigerians. We are talking about our country. We are talking about the destiny of a people. We are talking about the commonwealth of a people. We are talking about the lives of our children and the unborn generation. The time has come for us to speak with one voice on a common platform. And this is the time. So what do we do? One, if you live abroad and you are sending money back home to Nigeria, the first thing you must do is to tell your people at home to show you their voter's card. We are going to do what we call election networking and election revolution. Don't say your votes don't count. Our votes will count if Nigerian youths stop being used as political talks because they are the ones that, that shoot guns during elections. They are the ones that are involved in election violence, multiple thumb printing, ballot box snatching. And now we are saying that the government of Nigeria should declare cultism as terrorism. Youths are repenting now. And since they are repenting from courtism, we must begin to pull them together to join us for an election that will bring the leaders of our choices. Now, what do we mean by 23 on 23? One person mobilize 23 people, urge them to collect their voters' cards. 23 people. Most of you have like 5,000 friends on Facebook. You have many contacts on, on your phone. Pick 23 persons. Beg them. Urge them. Encourage them to collect their voter's cards. PVC. After collecting their voter's card, these 23 persons should encourage 23 persons each. Which means you started with 23 persons those 23 people, we have 23 persons each that they must encourage to collect their voters' cards. Meaning that your 23 multiplied by the other 23, we shall arrive at 529 voters' cards. 529 voters' cards because the intention is for us to have 100 million votes in the presidential election of 2023. Now, if 189,035 of us, if we begin to mobilize like this, if you multiply 529 by 189,035, the result is 100 million. With our 100 million vote, voters' cards, 
we shall hit the election grounds and vote at least 100 million times. You cannot rig valid votes of 100 million. You cannot. Especially when the youths have agreed that they will not rig elections for political vampires. Nigerian youths have become wiser. They gave them the guns and the machetes to kill people, to snatch ballot boxes. Why the politicians keep their children at home, send them abroad for studies. And this has to stop. Because the continued political and economic hardship has been caused by purely bad leadership. And now we are saying enough is enough. So this is what we mean by 23 unto 23. Begin to share the hashtag 23 unto 23. The other hashtag is 2023 operations 100 million votes. Do not stay at home by telling yourself, oh no, our votes don't count. Our votes must count now. Before the 2019 election, INEC registered 82 million voters. On the day of the presidential election, just 27 million persons came to vote. About 50 million stayed at home. Today, we have the Buharis. Today, we are all suffering it. Enough of staying at home during elections. Come out and exercise your votes. The time has come for us to actualize the Nigeria of our dream. Nation building is not a one-man show. It is not a one-man show. Everybody must sacrifice towards it. So this little sacrifice of encouraging people to collect their voters' card is all we need from you. The good news is this. You may begin to ask, okay, who do we vote for after our voters' card? Very easy. In December 2022, our organization known as the Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria, GCSDN, we are going to organize an online global election where we shall pick one candidate for the position of presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That candidate is the person we are going to vote for. We have been deceived enough. PDP came to destroy our country for 16 years. APC came and destroyed our country much more than PDP did. The time has come for us to say no. It is called hashtag 23 on 23. If you are a student, the time has come for you to begin to mobilize. You begin to talk to the people that are less educated. Begin to talk, talk to them now. If you are from the north, this is not the time for religion. This is not, not the time for ethnicity. This is not the time for religion. This is not the time for regionalism. This is the time for our collective freedom. They have killed enough that they continue to kill because we don't have the government that is pathetic to the needs of the people. The economic hardship in Nigeria today is untold. It's unprecedented. We cannot continue like this. Our destiny is in our hands. Arise and let us shine as one people. Thank you.